If you want to be rich, you got to be good at marketing. You got to be good at sales. It's not just real estate investing. It's anything. And marketing and sales guys is really the key to wealth building. You've got to be able to have people come to you that want your product or service. And you've got to be able to convert that into dollars. Here's what I did when I was early on in this business. I would buy my marketing. I would wait to close a deal. I would get that deal. I would then pay it pay my credit card back what I spent the marketing on. I'd pay my bills for the month and I'd start back over at zero and I'd need to get another deal. So you got to break through that. Leads are the blood of the business and marketing is the heart that pumps them. Okay. So if you don't have a beating heart, do you really have a business? So without further ado, let's jump into it today. Wholesale real estate. It's really simple. We need leads that are sellers who are interested in selling their house. Now is every lead going to be motivated? Not necessarily, but when we think of marketing, we're not worried about that. We're not worried about, are they going to be the hottest sellers or not? The thing is we need people calling us that are interested in what we have to offer, which is a cash offer. So we need to get leads. And then once we have the leads, then we're going to qualify them and find out, are they a potential wholesale deal now? Today, we're talking about how to get those leads in, in the first place. Okay. So for every 10 leads, you're going to get roughly three that are ready to, to make a decision right now, if the money's right. And one of those should be um, a wholesale deal. You should make $20,000 or more on that deal. That's what the stats are. Okay. Historically, I've been in this business now 12 years of wholesale and real estate. And that's what the stats are. Stats are. <laughs> so you can make about an offer on a third of the leads that come in. And one of those three, you should get a deal. We've got two different ways to bring leads in. One is prospecting and one is marketing. Prospecting is when you go to your prospect to try to sell them a good, good or a service, or in this case, the service you're selling is to buy their house. So prospecting, you're going to them. Okay. What are the advantages? Doesn't cost a lot of money. Sometimes doesn't cost any money. What are the disadvantages? Takes a lot of energy, takes a lot of time. It's hard to scale. You can get burnt out as a byproduct of it um, taking a lot of time and a lot of energy, but doesn't cost anything. So if you're brand new, you got to start prospecting. Now, marketing is where you are put, paying money to have your prospects come to you. So prospecting, you're going to them, takes a lot of time. You can only get to so many people. Marketing, you're paying money to have the masses come to you. Okay, but it does cost money. So the, the negatives of paid marketing, really there's only one, it costs money. The positives, more scalable, higher lead flow, um, overall better quality of leads typically, um, or at least you're, you'll get to the good leads quicker because you've got more leads coming in. And so if you're just getting started and you've got a little bit of a budget, then you wanna look at how you can um, start marketing as efficiently as possible. And if you don't have a budget, you got to start off by prospecting. Now that's okay. Here is the goal. If you don't have money for marketing, prospect, get a deal, put that money into your marketing and start to scale up your marketing budget. If you get your first deal is a good deal. You might never have to worry about prospecting again. If you're diligent and you um, are disciplined with the money that you receive from that deal. Okay. At minimum two to three deals, you should be able to start marketing. Okay. So whatever it takes, you got to be disciplined. If that means less eating out, skip that vacation, whatever it is. If you're just getting started and you don't have a marketing budget, right? I mean, yes, you can get started in this business with no money and start prospecting. But if you want to really turn it into a business where you're going to have constant income coming in every day, that's going to change your life. You're going to have to be marketing. You're not going to be able to just go pound every day, pound the phones, pound driving for dollars. I'm going to get into those things in a minute, but you're going to want to start marketing. So you get your first deal, you start marketing. And if you start out right away and you've got some money, then we're going to start out marketing right away.